Yes, well, as you can see, this new shelter is so big, clean, and beautiful, perfect for all of these dogs and cats, like Tino right here. He is so adorable, and I'm sure so excited for a new home. Thanks for being with us, Colleen. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. Talk to us about the new space and why you think this was such a need. Well, the, old, the shelter that we're currently in is getting pretty old. It wasn't built for long-term stays for dogs or cats. Um, so this space is actually going to give us a lot more flexibility and a lot more space to provide good, good homes for our dogs. Yeah, and let's walk over here a little bit. I think it's so cool they can go on the patio, give them some fresh air. Yeah, the outdoor space, uh, the indoor outdoor space is essential for uh, fresh air and really enrichment, you know, letting dogs be dogs. And yeah. What other improvements can we expect here? Um, so increased amount of uh, flexibility as you see some of our kennels are all open some of them have solid panels so that those dogs that are a little more shy have a place to go they don't have to be uh, exposed to everything um, out in the in the space and of course you're giving these dogs and cats a lot of more space to roam around in you're also focusing on their health too what are some ways you're doing that absolutely so um, we know now that um, when animals are more comfortable and have more enrichment that they do better, they um, break with disease less, especially with cats. Um, the more space, the vertical space helps them. They like to be up off the ground. So our cat runs um, and the windows will give more enrichment and let them interact with nature and just be more healthy in their mental stability. Definitely. And if people are interested in a dog like Tino right here, they can go in this room, right, and meet him? Absolutely. So the meet and greet space gives them ample room uh, to meet their uh, potential new family member uh, and interact with them in a quiet environment where the dog or cat, um, cats, the cat runs are a little bit bigger so that people can go in too. Uh, they can interact with them and, and not have other things going on in the in the yeah. environment that that uh, will um, could impede their decisions. Yes. And you didn't have this in the old shelter, so that's great to have yeah. that. Thank you for all of that, Colleen. Absolutely. Thanks for being with us. Remember that dog parade is happening today at 11. All of the dogs will be coming from the old shelter and into the new, like Tino right here. So you guys definitely want to check that out. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.